So a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the Studio Series Super 7 Def Jam Soundwave that was a convention exclusive. Looked really cool. It was the first time that the Super 7 guys did a repaint of their Transformer-related stuff. We definitely know more stuff of repaints will be coming from this line if Super 7 is any indication of what they've done in the past with all their other molds of their reaction line. But this one here has a deeper story than we thought originally. Now, this was originally supposed to be something that was a crossover with the Def Jam Records kind of label, and that was that. Hey, cool white repaint sound wave. It's not really shattered glass. What's going on here? All right, little short run thing. That's that, right? It seems that the guys at TFU.info, and I'm going to assume it's probably Tony here, uh, they got their copy of it, and they noticed that there was some stickers put over the box of the figure in a very um, power core combiners uh, kind of manner. For people who don't know, back in the day, power core combiners had a character with a name that I don't know if I could even say it on the air, but uh, they had to put a sticker over it to kind of uh, alleviate any kind of anger that would have come from that, but the sticker could have been easily removed, and the offensive name under it, depending on region where you come from, uh, was located under it regardless. Now, it seems here, in this case, uh, nothing offensive, more just a deeper story than we thought originally. So, on the front of the packaging, you have the Def Jam X Soundwave, and there's this sticker that's covering something that clearly looks like there's something underneath it. Now, one initially would have been like, oh, well, they're trying to really have that that mixtape aesthetic where it's a sticker put over, you know, the plastic of a, of a old school 1980s tape cassette, music tape cassette. But upon removing it, it says under it, LL Cool J X Soundwave. And people are going like, huh, what's up with that? And then you look at the UPC sticker that's added for them in order to sell it, and it says LL Cool J X Soundwave X Def Jam Transformers. And even the the uh, product code LLC L O one or O one zero one, who knows? Again, you know, LL Cool J. Hmm. And on top of that, the bio has, on the back of it, has this gigantic sticker covering the current bio. And it hasn't been removed yet, so Tony, please, please remove that. Take a hair dryer, you know, and peel that thing off nice and remove it. But it might be even more of an interesting story there, too, if they covered up that one also. I mean, if you look at the current bio that's on there... There is no suggestion of anything that says Def Jam Records on the current one, so probably what is under there is something that suggests more of an LL Cool J kind of connection. Who knows? Uh, for people who don't know who LL Cool J is, I mean, and some of my listeners might not, um, from a casual standpoint, he's best known for his 1990s fourth album uh, double platinum hit, Mama Said Knock You Out. And that's probably what he's best known for. Obviously, he would go on to do kids' movies and stuff like that. As any hip-hop guy, as his career gets better, somehow they find themselves in Hollywood doing family movies. But nonetheless, back in the day, he was a hard-hitting hip-hop rapper. And yeah, so this is fascinating. It's, it kind of makes me wonder what was going on here. And if, uh, if LL Cool J had a bigger role in all of this. So, Tony, please, take that sticker off. And uh, let us know what's under there, because I'm curious myself. This is really interesting. And uh, hopefully I'll have more information on this, and uh, maybe we'll find out soon enough. Uh, he posted this on TFU.info's Twitter account. So if, if you, know, if you, if you want to get a, a better look at what's going on in high res here, he posted a whole bunch of photos. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see more information about this as time progresses.